Indy Mogul. Oh, please, let this be one of Will Ferrell's good films. Please. You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of The Other Guys. Do good cop, bad cop. I come strong, and then you come in. Got it. I want to know everything. Now. Nah. Okay, well, I'll, I'll talk to you. You're reasonable. Nah, nah. You're talking to me. <laughs> I thought you said bad cop, bad cop. Yes, for every Elf, Talladega Knights, and Step Brothers, there's a Blades of Glory, Semi-Pro, and Land of the Lost. In fact, Farrell seems to be on a flop hit schedule, but according to that schedule, it's time for a hit. And the odds of hilarity ensuing get even better with the presence of writer director Adam McKay, Farrell's founding partner in FunnyOrDie.com. This marks the duo's fourth film team up. Plus, there's Mark Wahlberg increasing the stakes on his brilliant, already semi-comedic turn in The Departed. It's a bold move for Wahlberg to star in all-out comedy, but he's shown that he's got the chops, and he hasn't had a hit since The Departed. For backup, Farrell and Wahlberg have got Michael Keaton, Steve Coogan, Eva Mendes, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, and even Samuel L. M and Jackson. It's going to take that kind of firepower to make audiences forget this year's last odd couple cop comedy. But this certainly is a team-up with broad appeal. In fact, why not take your mother? We are doing a lot of property damage! Oh cool, a helicopter! Is this one of Will Ferrell's good movies? Yes. Yeah, definitely. I guess it is. It was really funny. Excellent. It, it did outstanding work in this film. It's like a really nice comedy, it's like his style, so yes. It was the best movie I've ever seen with Will Ferrell. Really? Better than Talladega Nights and Anchorman? Yeah. Wow. There's some parts that they were, I don't know, I thought they were going to be a little bit funnier. There were some parts that, you know, it was like, mm, kind of like, right, but it was, it was good though. It was still a good movie. So was Mark Wahlberg the missing ingredient that he needed? Yes. Yes, it seemed like peanut butter and jelly. I thought that Will Ferrell was like obviously the main character and he played like a good, like different side of like the partner role. Could he hold his own against Will Ferrell? Um, I don't know. Will Ferrell's pretty funny. He's, he's hilarious. He complimented Will Ferrell, but Will Ferrell could have done it himself anyways. Oh, really? Oh, what was so great about Will Ferrell's performance? Just everything. He's, he's a great co comic, and he knows how to, how to land jokes. That's what makes him great. And you know, you were on our Grown Ups episode. Yeah. Okay, and you said you thought Adam Sandler, you know, his material was getting old. Yeah. How about Will Ferrell? Is he still fresh? Um... A little bit. He brought a, a couple new things to this one, so cool. yeah. So, what's the better summer comedy, Dinner for Schmucks or The Other Guys? The Other Guys. Did you see Dinner for Schmucks? No, I haven't seen it yet. Though. Oh, okay. Why'd you choose this one over that? Well, because of Will Ferrell, he's in the movie. Yeah. I was between this movie or that one. Oh, actually. why'd you pick this one? Because it's Will Ferrell. <laughs> I think it was like actually like so far the best comedy of the summer. Really? Did you yeah. see Dinner for Schmucks? Yeah, I did. And this was better. Yeah, I thought oh, so. Oh, excellent. What do you give the movie on a 1 to 10? I give it an 8. I give it an 8.7. Probably like a 6.5 or 7. 11. I give it a 10. So even with your low rating, it's still the best comedy of the summer. Yeah, so that <laughs> says something about the comedies this is summer. It, is it worth seeing in theaters? Uh, yes, I think so. I mean, it, it's the best one of the summer, so. Okay, so, so if you're gonna go see a comedy, this is the one. Will Ferrell sure has some faithful fans, and it looks like he's being faithful back as they give his latest movie an 8.5. And don't forget that The Other Guys is the focus of this week's One Sentence Review Challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your 1 to 10 rating below, as well as your One Sentence Review. Whoever writes the best one gets a free pair of AMC movie tickets, and I'll announce the winner this Sunday on my Facebook page. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25, and I hope you'll go beyond to the trailer for these other top movies. Thank you